We are 165 days away from the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Safety precautions are in place now and officials expect no delays. The Woodlands own diver Laura Wilkinson hopes to be there and secure her fourth trip with Team USA. has changed since her magical moment at the 2000 Olympic Games that led to a gold medal. Then 22, Laura Wilkinson followed by winning World Cups and World Championships, also earning two more Olympic trips in 2004 and 2008. There's just, I don't know, a sense of pride and accomplishment and, and it's like a humbling thing as well at the same time, realizing it's not just about you, but you're representing millions and millions of people and you want to do that with honor and integrity. After the 08 game, starting and raising a family with her husband, Eric, became the priority. They would have two kids of their own and were also led to expand their family. Together, Laura and Eric adopted two children from Ethiopia. As for retirement, what drove you back, do you think? I mean, in 08, I was, I was 30. I thought, well, that's a long time. Most divers don't dive that long. I really wanted to be a mom, so I thought, once you're a mom, like, that's it. People I didn't, I knew didn't come back. After I had my daughter, I wanted to play again, and I wanted to try it again, and so I, I did, and I got back in and qualified for trials and was like, okay, I really just want to be mom right now, you know? So, and now again, like, I mean, this didn't happen overnight. It, like, took some time, and I realized that I might be able to do this, but it started by me just being back in the water playing, doing what I love. That if you're doing what you love and it makes you happy, it's not always about the end result. It, there's a fulfillment there that's more important than your place, you know, at the end of the competition or your score at the end of the meet. Nine years passed, and by then, Laura believed the door was about to reopen. The passion was back. But a severe neck injury led to a complicated surgery in 2018 to repair a condition that potentially would end her comeback. A two-level cervical fusion. So I got a nice titanium plate and about six screws in there. We got a, an MRI on my neck and realized all this stuff was coming from my neck. It was a nerve affecting like all the way down my arm, which I've had tricep problems forever. And that's actually a normal platform diving injury. And they told me I had to have it no matter what, because even a small car accident, anything, if I just wanted to be a mom, I need to make sure I wasn't going to become a paraplegic. And that's that was kind of scary news. At that point, Wilkinson's focus shifted. Life as a wife and mother was front and center. I was very thankful for a great surgeon and um, just to kind of come through and kind of just get another chance at life itself, you know, of feeling safe. And then, and then to get to dive on top of that was kind of just icing on the cake. Like, I never thought I would dive again after 08. And so that felt like a gift. And now, like, having gone through the surgery, too, it's just like it, diving has become this blessing and this special thing, not this thing I have to go do every day. But, like, wow, I'm so excited. I still I get a few more days to do this. When COVID concerns forced last summer's games to be postponed, the extra time to heal was welcomed by Wilkinson. I'm actually really thankful for it just because I was still kind of recovering from my neck surgery and um, it kind of feels like a gift a little bit. She's healthy again and at the age of 43 is making one last run at a fourth Olympics. I feel great. I'm spinning fast. I'm jumping high. Trying to earn a spot on Team USA for the Tokyo Games that are still scheduled for this summer. If you're confident in your dives, the competition will take care of itself. And so I'm trying to just reframe the way I'm thinking because there's not a lot of meets before trials. Trials is in June. I have an invitational meet at the end of February, but I just got back on a 10 meter, so I may not even be ready to compete at the invitational. So, but I'll be there to get in that atmosphere and, and feel those feelings again and hopefully, you know, help me refocus. Yeah, I think she's going to be ready. Appreciate the time with Laura. Olympic trials, by the way, begin June 6th. There she hopes to punch her ticket to Tokyo.